Welcome to FS17 on the Squirrel Farms map. Today we will be preparing the brand new snow equipment dealer for its grand opening here in the town. This new dealership will be selling, servicing, and renting snow removal equipment. Today we will be building up the inventory, parking everything into position, and preparing it for its grand opening later on this week. Let's take a quick walk through here of the dealership property. It sits on just over 1.5 acres of land. We are on a corn lot here with two very busy streets. The dealership building is very nice, quite a lot of glass. Now the showroom doors are a bit tight but we'll try to put some inside we do have quite a lot of parking lot out front here for everything to go on display and for everything that we'll be selling to be out front we do have a dealership truck here it's a 220 ram 2500 regular cab long bed as well we will be getting a company tractor skid loader and a wheel loader we do have a path around side here with a very big service uh, section to the dealership and service uh, departments do do uh, bring quite a lot of revenue for the dealership so we will be installing lifts for trucks for equipment and we also will be adding tool chests everything like that and uh, it's going to be one awesome dealership I'm excited to be back here in FS17 I told you guys have been requesting a video back here so I thought why not do one because it's the winter season snow plowing season is in full swing so why don't we do this so what I first want to do is to buy those companies uh, vehicles for the dealership those will be important for moving around the different uh, equipment here at the dealership let's hop here into the store and we'll buy our small it's a small tractor it's just enough to move everything next up we will be buying our wheel loader we'll be going with the in-game JCB and then we'll be going here with the uh, JCB 260 skid steer we will be buying a service trailer here just in case a plow breaks and we are called out to uh, the location and we are buying an eager beaver if we do need to transport plows and we do want to buy the plow to go on our dealership truck. Why don't we buy that really quick? If you do have any cool ideas here for this dealership, please let me know down below in the comments. I would like to give like this an official name as well. That would be pretty cool. And uh, hopefully, uh, maybe we could get some snow and have the dealership plowed. And that would be a pretty awesome sight to see, I will have to say. We'll get the plow lifted up here. And we'll put both these trailers inside out of the weather. I'm excited to be back here doing a dealership video as well. I really do like all these different dealerships we've been doing. They've been some very unique ones. I actually did a John Deere dealership in FS19 and a ton of you guys liked it as well, which is great. I put a lot of time into all of my videos. This Ram regular cab really does look nice. I really do like the regular cabs. They're great work trucks. Now what I want to do is to just park this trailer right along here. We don't really want to block this area. Now very new inventory that comes right off the truck that needs to be assembled will also be put in here as well. And that's a new trailer recently released uh, back here in 17. We will be selling straight blades, V plows, box plows, snow blower attachments, snow blowers, so many different things. And I just can't wait to buy all of them here today. And we will be working with the local Ford, Ram, and GM dealers as well to have them give us trucks. We put plows on them and they sell it at their lots and at ours as well. We will have a few trucks on inventory as well. And this one I actually just want to kind of put in the center because we'll be using it. has quite a lot of tools on it. All right, so up next, let's uh, start to buy some of the bigger display trucks we'll be putting out front. And we'll uh, start to use these equipment as we need them. What we want to do is to buy the Silverado 3500 HD plow truck and the GMC 3500 as well. And we do want to buy the plows to go along with them. We'll take a walkthrough of everything we are buying as well. And we want one Western. And we want, we'll go with a blizzard plow. 
All right, so both of these trucks here are 3500s. One's a GMC, one's a Chevy. This is a regular cab. Both have Salters, a Western, and a Boss, and that is pretty cool. Let's get these attached, put these out front, and a company might want to buy these. We never know, but these look amazing as well. So I thought these would be great display trucks because they have sanders, and we actually have a few sanders that uh, you could actually back into as well. We'll be buying those as well. We'll get attached here. Like I've touched upon, our display trucks will be right out front. Especially both the trucks here with uh, the strobe lights on them, the sanders, and the plows. I mean, we'll be probably pretty popular, I will have to say. Up next, let's hop here into the store, and we actually will be buying a snow plow trailer. This is a very interesting one. It's really meant for uh, town plows, and we sell to the town to private contractors and uh, to anybody that wants to buy let's go here to trucks and we'll buy let's take a quick look so we'll buy this one here we'll get it in I would say we'll get it in red we'll get the dump bed in black and that should be actually no we want it with a salter that looks good there and we want to buy this big plow truck so we do want to have a nice inventory as well let me know your thoughts down below here on this dealership series. I really do like doing these as well. These are quite a lot of fun. And we gotta move some things out of the way really quick. So what I'm thinking is, let's hop here in our company uh, tractors. We're just gonna move them out of the way. That should be good enough for now. This dealership will have so many straight blades and just so many plows that we'll, we'll probably run out of room here, which will be pretty funny. Now, these three pieces, the skid steer, this, and the tractor will be put inside our garage because uh, we'll be using these and no need to keep them out in the weather. There we go. We cleared up some space and that should be good enough for us to buy the remaining parts. Alright, so I believe we just bought the remaining parts. Let's hop in this, and you guys can see this does have a nice wing plow that slides up, and a salter as well. We got attached here to this plow, so we got a nice plow here on this. Once we kind of do these uh, trucks here, we will be focusing on the inventory side, and these will be the last of these trucks. Going to be a tight fit there. Actually, I do, let's take a look, actually no, we'll just put this with this one here. You can actually back into it, that's pretty awesome. Perfect, so we got this here into position and everything's set up here on, it's just such a big truck, it's just so cool. Let's get this uh, lowered down and we'll get these lowered down, this will be a great corner truck as well so that looks good there and the last truck here is this one here it's a free liner we need to buy the plows here for it and what do we want this color we'll get it to be actually we'll get it to be yellow and we need to buy the plow for it stainless steel plow which is great And we gotta get the other one first here. Now, I think that we might have to look into selling salt. That would be a pretty big business by itself. Uh, being like one of the only salt dealers as well. That would be pretty awesome. So we got this attached here. We'll get that raised up. And we'll be using this to actually move this trailer as well. The trailer is pretty heavy. And I don't really want to use the ram. Awesome. So we got everything here. Let's see if we get backed up and move this trailer. We'll put this trailer here on the corner. That should be a good location here for it. And I actually want to fold it out. And let's uh, kind of reposition. We definitely don't want that to go right there. So we'll get it folded out here and then we'll just drive it forward. I really do like this though. It's pretty awesome to have something like this. 
Awesome, so that looks good there. You guys can see a ton of uh, display trucks, and these will draw quite a lot of attention as well, especially the old one and this plow trailer. But let's get this uh, put here, and then we have to build up the inventory. And I think we'll start off with like everything for the skid steers and kind of go that route. Awesome, so we got everything here, which is great. And you guys can see we got the sander, salter, everything like that. And it almost looks like we were stuck there. Let's hop here into the store. Let's buy everything here for the skid steers. So the skid steers have snow blowers. We'll probably buy two of everything for now as like a good uh, start to the inventory. And we'll continue. We got a few uh, blades here. Snow bucket. And we actually have to keep moving moving everything. That's okay, though. And let's get going here. Now, we'll be putting all of these towards uh, the side of the property and a few out front. Yeah, let's put, uh, I would say, one of these out front as well. That, that should be a good idea. Put one of these out front like that. And we'll put the smaller box pile out front. That should be a good thing for us. I really do like snow removal, it's quite a lot of fun, especially uh, just going out plowing for a very long time, and even in Farming Slater, snow plowing has come a very long way, so many new things for plow trucks, everything like that, wow, this really just does not want to attach. Let's get this uh, kind of lined up along the side here, this should be good. Now we do have a full security system as well, because we don't want any of these to go missing overnight. Snow buckets are pretty helpful, I will have to say, and some, they're great for moving a ton of snow piles. And we'll just put one after the other. That will be quite a lot of work uh, to kind of reposition them, but we should be fine. And we got the snow bucket, which is great. These are very nice, but they aren't too popular, so we'll only have one of these. Let's see, is there anything else for skid steers? Actually, there is. Let's come over here. We want to buy a cage. Cage plows are very helpful plows as well. And I think that's pretty much it for skid steers. Yep. And let's get this last one here. Now this one actually has a detachable uh, box, which is pretty helpful, I will have to say. Very efficient, and it, it saves quite a lot of time. Let's get attached to it. Looks like we have to be on the other side. I actually really want to put this one out front. This is a very popular plow we've been hearing from the local uh, business owners. And there we got it. We finally got it there. So I actually want to angle this plow. Let's angle it and then it will disconnect it. Probably put it right about here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's actually put the skid steer away. We really don't need it anymore. This video will be here on the longer side. I really do want to get this up and running, everything into position. And it is a pretty big inventory, just a lot of small things that really add up to quite a lot. Alright, that's good there. Let's uh, work on, I would say the tractors. Uh, there's not too many, but we'll get those now. For the tractor, we really only have the sweeper. These actually come in pretty handy. And so let's see, there's a few other things as well. Oh, the snowblower attachment. So, like I've touched upon, really not much for the tractor. Alright, let's get both of these. And I actually have a pretty good idea for this corner area. What I want to do, I want to put the loader with a big... Uh, box pile on it that would be pretty awesome to see wow this is a pretty big one but we'll put this actually we will keep the tractor outside some of these we'll keep outside with attachments on I think that would be a good idea so let's put the sweeper out front as well and this could be a combo and if someone really wanted to buy this tractor with the sweeper I would definitely sell it and just get a new one for us I believe you could rotate it. Yeah, that's awesome. It's great for uh, doing like slush and things like that. But we'll, we'll keep it uh, raised up in the air. That should be fine. And let's focus here uh, on the front loaders. And then the last is the plow trucks.
We got a straight blade, and I believe we do have another box flower. Yep. And I believe that's pretty much it. Yeah. So, do we have everything? Yes, we do. These will be a bit tricky to get to because of we have all of these things behind it here, but I really do like this dealership. Looks nice. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a ton of fun to upload every single day here to YouTube, and I really do thank all of you guys for the continued support. I can't wait to make more and more videos here. 2019 is going to be one epic year here for the channel. Some awesome mod releases coming, and I cannot wait for those. For now, we'll put that there, and these last two, just not enough room. And the store placement really was a bit close. I actually moved the store placement uh, from the uh, version that was released. And I moved it over here to make it a little bit easier here for us. Actually, we'll have room there for plow truck, uh, the plows for the trucks, which is great. Now, we will offer salt spreaders, but we won't offer them uh, like you have to custom order them because of the different options and the sizes. We don't want to offer one that doesn't. Uh, that just is going to sit here on the lot. So that's going to be our kind of thing with that. Let's get the boss pile. Let's get this up. And it's just too heavy to put up in the air. So let's see. How can we do this? Let's actually put it. Can we put it like straight on like this? Let's see. We need room there for. Actually, we'll just put the plow down. We really don't need uh, this loader out front. And it's just a lot of extra stress on this loader. Just take a look at that pulling wheelie. Yeah, it's not going to be good. And let's see. You put it in reverse. doesn't want to go in reverse. And there we go. I've had that problem many times in 17. And that looks good. Let's put this inside now. We are getting very close here to the finished product. Just quite a lot of things to do. We'll use our uh, company truck now to move around these plows. I do want to do some upgrades here, getting more inventory as well. So if you do have any cool ideas, let me know. Alright, let's hop here into the store. Let's buy a ton of plows now. We'll buy a Western. We'll buy a Boss. Blizzard. And we do have a V plow as well. I do want to buy a few V plows. Boss, a V plow. Buy a few of those V plows. Are pretty popular. And uh, let's see. I'm not sure if these fish fishers are going to work, but we'll have to see towards the end of today. So we got that disconnected. Wow. We should be able to attach to these. Awesome, so we got these, and I do want to put the other V plow out front. That should be a good thing. Now, these are a little bit smaller scaled, but I really do like these a lot. Alright, so we got that there. We'll put, let's see, yeah, we'll put this one out front. I really do like how uh, we do have snow plowing here in farming simulator. I would like to put this in scoop, but to disconnect it, they usually go into V. And that looks pretty good there. I will be doing lots more real life snow uh, blowing videos once we do get more snow here, which should be a ton of fun to do. I really do like this RAM a lot. Hopefully it gets converted to FS19. Uh, that would be awesome. Really do like it a lot. And it's a very uh, great work truck. It's kind of a base trim with a few different options on it as well to make it unique. Uh, every person gets to choose the color, different options on it. But I like it a lot and it does have a great suspension. Let's get our plow attached back here. And I think we'll put our truck just alongside. And the last thing I want to buy is a snowblower. Let's see if we are able to put it inside. It would be pretty awesome. I'm not sure though. It could be a bit uh, too narrow uh, of a doorway.
using the ramps in some of the trucks, uh, people can actually put snowblowers in the back, and that's pretty awesome. But so far, I think that this is a great start. So many different things we are offering, especially the service department, to those that have big fleet trucks that need them to be serviced. I really might look into seeing if we could get some sort of door on this to really put a plow truck inside. But that is pretty much it here for today. We got everything here into position. We got some trucks here on display. That looks pretty epic, I will have to say. We will have to get logos there on the side, but wow, one awesome plow uh, equipment dealer so far. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.